comes to cards, and well, most things in life really, as a general rule, when you pay for more, you get more. But that's not always the case. Since 2003, if you walked into a Honda showroom to buy an Accord, you had the choice of a regular Accord or the Accord Euro. The regular Accords are known as wide body Accords and, like most Hondas these days, are built in Thailand. The V6 version recently won Drive's Car of the Year. The Euro, however, is still built in Japan. So why would you pay an extra $5,000 for the Euro badge? The appeal of this car is its small proportions, which actually makes it more nimble than the regular Accords. The all-new chassis is a lot more eager to turn into corners. It's better balanced and has better control over high-speed bumps. The steering really complements the chassis, which actually makes the Accord Euro one of the better handling cars in its class. It means you can have a bit of fun on a tight, twisty section of road, but doesn't come at the expense of ride quality. The Euro suspension is compliant over most surfaces. The Euro uses the same 2.4 litre engine that's in the regular Accords, but it gets more power, 148 kilowatts. That means it's got plenty of grunt. The engine transmission combination actually works really well and we love the fact that it's got gear shift paddles. We did find however on a few occasions though that the 5 speed auto was a little reluctant to change down gears when we wanted it to. Then there's the attention to detail, little things like the beautiful feel of the leather wrapped steering wheel and the funky sports gauges. But the news is not all good. While we love the fact that Honda's fitted a full-size alloy spare, it does come at a price. What it does is it creates an awkward raised section in the boot. What's going on there? The only other blot is the rear leg room, or lack of it. As you can see, it's a little squeezy in the back here. Not really what you want for a mid-sized family car. So why then does Honda provide two Accords? Honda's strategy is all about age. The car makers suggest that those who buy the Euro are, well, younger than those who purchase the regular Accord. The Euro is pitched to buyers under the age of 40, while the regular Accord is for those who are more senior. So what category do you fit into? Are you the more practical type, or dare I say it, at the older end of the spectrum? Or are you young, or just simply young at heart? Either way, Honda's got both bases covered. <laughs>